You're watching News View with Lee Sullivan. Welcome back, News View, visiting with Ron Hart, talking about the things that you need to hear about. Uh, so, <clears throat> I know people won't be able to believe this, but you spent some time working for Goldman Sachs. I did. I worked uh, out of business school. I went to work for Goldman Sachs and enjoyed my time there. And uh, I hate to see him uh, have to go before the Senate committee, uh, and I think it's a farce. But there had to be a villain, as we were talking about earlier, victims right. and villains. And Obama has this amazing ability to create a, you know, the HMOs were the villains before. Three and a half percent profit margin, the insurance companies are the villains so he can get healthcare done. Now, he's, he's like, it's a little bit like he takes them out of the prison yard and beats them up in front of the other prisoners right before he has legislation. So he takes Goldman Sachs on a three-two vote, partisan vote, the SEC vote was three to two, Democrats three, Republicans two against it, uh, to bring them uh, before the Senate uh, and just make everybody resent them. And they make a lot of money, sure they make a lot of money, right? They're also uh, a part of the funding of Americans' businesses. They fund, uh, they take companies public, they do debt, you know, they, they serve a purpose. What they do not understand, Levin, and if you know anything about our business, is very clear, Levin doesn't have a clue. He says, well, you, you have one guy that th thought it was gonna go up and, it's, and one guy thought it was gonna go down. Just put them together. Every time a stock is sold in America, if you sell IBM, you think it's going down. The guy that bought it thinks it's going up. That's the market. And that's all that Goldman did is facilitate this market. Maybe there's some disclosure issues that, that are kind of nuanced and could have been better said, but these are sophisticated investors. This is a billionaire Paulson. These are not mom, mom and Paul Kettle. Right. You know, there's, 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 there's a, there's, these people are making their own decisions. These, and, and Goldman Sachs is only making a market in these securities. There's an argument made, and I believe it uh, without a doubt, if they weren't shorting it toward the end, it could have gone on longer and been worse because they would have been creating more subprime and alt-A mortgages. Uh, had they not had the uh, the synthetic index to short. So now there's a criminal investigation. <laughs> I mean, they, they got to have a villain. They got to perp walk somebody, and what they'll do is perp walk them. He'll try to get this legislation passed, and all of a sudden the case will go away. Same thing Spitzer did. Spitzer never tried a case. He come to the podium, ruin someone's life, point a finger at Grasso, point a finger at Ken Langone, great Americans, and never took them to trial. That's all you got to do is, is point your finger. I said, these are villains. These are awful. The press shows up. Trial never happens. It also is dismissed and never Can goes to trial. Can he possibly be like the horniest guy ever? Uh, you know, Tiger and he are kind of neck to neck, maybe. I don't oh, know. No, no, Tiger, no, you Tiger was, so? he was working the omelet shop. And yeah. The, yeah. You know, Spitzer was, I mean, what, I mean, he was. He, uh, he, he, was, was, he was providing high paying jobs for women in New York. Right. right? That's what he'll say in his campaign. Right. And Spitzer's right. a creep. He's always a creep. Anyone who can go up there without any remorse. And ruin someone's life for his own political gain is out of Atlas Shrugged. If right. you look at Ayn Rand and her books, these, these expedient bureaucrats who are there for their own personal gain, and that's what Spitzer was. And I was so glad he and Edwards were the same way. They traffic in envy. They, they're, they're they're terribly mean people, and they're very self-serving. And they really have not, you know, he's a sheriff of Wall Street. Well, what do you do? We got Sarbanes Oxley, which ties us down. It didn't stop Madoff. It didn't stop right. uh, Sanford, uh, who still stole billions of dollars. In, in America, we have the only, in government, is the only thing in the world that when it doesn't work, they put more money into it. Rewarded. Yeah. Right. yeah. A business, if it doesn't work, you file bankruptcy, it goes out of business, or your competitors right. beat you. Government, when it doesn't work, they put more money into it. Well, that's, I mean, they're trying to emulate that with the citizenry. You know, if you don't work, you get rewarded. Right. If you're not married, you get rewarded. If you have illegitimate children, you get rewarded. If right. If you do it, they Amer if you get married and you work, you pay for the people that don't work. Right, exactly. It's a socialist system, and, it, and, and, and where, where, do you, where do the politicians get in return for this? They get their vote. Right. And they perpetuate their power. Really? They need to be unperpetuated. Remember, those are my views. What are yours? <laughs>